All right, let's do this. What the fuck? This is episode 17. Good morning. Welcome to Flight Attendant Therapy. I'm Tobias. I'm Ulysses. It is Papa time. <laughs> okay. Everybody knows what happened last night with the debate. Um, I didn't see the debate. I was in, in flight. I'm sorry. Of course, he was in flight. So, the debate last night was basically, it was their second debate between John McCain and so the percentages as far as like dominating the debate, Barack Obama was favored um, 68% to 43%. Really? Yes. And then they had these different questions that they proposed to them, which one had more knowledge as far as um, foreign affairs and stuff. And once again, Barack Obama won like 67% to 28%. Check this. And then they had another question regarding um, John McCain and Barack Obama on um, um, the situation that happened in Russia and which one had more knowledge regarding that. And once again, Barack Obama came in on top. And one of the commentators, I can't remember what his name is on CNN, but a lot of times I don't believe in CNN because... I think that it's a I think that it's a vehicle used by our government, and our government is one of the most corrupt government also governments also. But check this: what really pissed me off was that John McCain made this statement as, you know, our country now is one of the more respected countries and looked upon for our financial backing or whatever. I'm like, what damn cabbage leaf would you crawl under? We just had the damn borrow what well, we already owe China, five hundred, five hundred billion dollars, and then we just did this. What what was it? Seven hundred billion dollar release that the taxpayers are gonna have to pay for. That is gonna have to come out of our damn pocket. So I don't know what he's talking about that we're looked upon as a financial backing company or, you know, like the home, the free home of the brave. And it just pissed me off that someone who's on 16 different medications can't even run for damn president. What the hell you think about? Because I mean, he, he's not, a, he couldn't be in his right mind. Not to be taking 16, med 16 different medications. So nevertheless, the overall consensus of the CNN panel was that Barack Obama came out on top. Very good, I'm glad to hear that. So, Ulysses and I, we're doing our Noxzema Mass. Ulysses has a trip leaving today. In a few hours. <clears throat> and mine leaves on Saturday. So this is a round trip. That's amazing. So where are you going this time? To South Bend, Indiana. Okay, very exciting. Woo-hoo! Woo and know. it's raining. We have weather here in Atlanta, so we're going to have delays out the yang yang. Yeah, that's it. Angry passengers. I'm about to go into entertainment mode. As best as I can. You act like you're going to do a sambo dance on the... You know what? I actually time. think about that sometimes. I actually have that feeling sometimes when I'm on the aircraft. Because you know, the majority of the passengers are white. And sometimes, I don't try to be funny. But, you know, some of the things that I say, they find funny. And, you know, I would stop myself when I get that feeling of sambo. Then I just pull back and I just chill. Because I do get that feeling, though. It's funny that you mentioned that. And I've shared that with other fighters, and they, they feel that way, too. And you know what? Bringing up the election again, <clears throat> which brings back to the Sambo thing, too. This girl on YouTube, <clears throat> who I spoke with yesterday on the phone, and we really need to interview her. Her name is Atlanta Sister. Hey, girl. Hey, Nicole. So, um, <clears throat> she was mentioning that... <laughs> She was mentioning, well, her latest thing was that she was mentioning why should people vote for Barack Obama? And is it because he's black and because we're black? And she said, hell yeah, I'm voting for his ass because I'm black. At first I was feeling that way, but as time go on and I listen to him and I'm just seeing him as a person, I don't see it that way now. I just, I'm just dealing with him at a, as a person. I'm beyond the fact that It's the black. cause, right. Right. But That's, I'm glad he's black. Right. And she was like, no, fuck all that shit I'm talking about because of the fact that, 
you know, what our country, what our forefathers have gone through. And we're not talking about Abraham Lincoln and Benjamin Franklin and all that because they're not my forefathers. That's basically what she was saying. But, you know, more, more or less our forefathers being, you know, Shirley, Shirley Chisholm, Sojourney Troop, <clears throat> you know, um, Martin Luther King, those type of pioneers that paved the way for us as African-Americans to get good where we were. That. Well, I mean, I, I agree with her with that. But I, what I was saying essentially is that I think that we've moved forward as a country that we shouldn't be looking at race based on um, whether or not a black man is qualified to be president or not. We should be far beyond that. And that's what I meant when I responded to her comment or to her, um, her uh, post. I, um, well, yeah, you could say that, but you know, race is still going to be lingering around. And it's we're all, still in the South. We're right? still in the South, and regardless, people are still going to see you as, I don't care what they say, a race. Oh, he's a black man. Until you prove them whatever they have in their mind that you're different or you don't fit the stereotype. And that's a whole other thing we need to get into. That's or maybe cool. because you don't talk like this, dude. Right. Exactly. And if you talk like that, they see you, oh, you're on my level. You know or he's an Uncle Tom. Now, that's what that's what Atlanta's sister said. She's like, you know, these Uncle Toms because of the fact that they don't vote for Barack because he's black. So essentially, girl, are you calling me Uncle Tom? Because I'm not. <laughs> and I'll come over there and cut you. Because I'm going for him because of the cause that Barack stand for. And I I am inspired by this man. But I am, you do appreciate the fact that he is a black man. You know, I think I'm beyond that. I think I'm beyond the fact that he's black. I'm over the fact that he's black. Okay. It doesn't matter to me because he's black. Just like John Kerry, I was voting for him not because I'm a Democrat or because my family are registered Democrats. Hell, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. But, I mean, why is our forefathers Democrats now? I mean, it's all based on like this popularity contest, and it shouldn't be. It should be based on the cause of the country and what makes the country better and more viable. Yeah, but, but reality is... He's black. He's black. And John McCain is white. And he's black. And he's old as hell. Right. Once again, thank you for joining us on Flight Attendant Therapy. I'm Tobias. I'm Ulysses. Coffee time. Fly safe. Damn, Barack Obama's going to win.